Sephora purchase. Ta-da! I got two bags of item and tomorrow I'm going again with my friend. Maybe I'll pick something out as well, but I just want to do this video really quickly because, you know, if you have the Rouge status or the VIP status or IP status, maybe you can get some, you know, sale items. Spider-Man, I bought two. I know I'm not crazy. One of them is going to be a birthday gift to my friend. She loves Huda Beauty and we are both very sad that this is the last big palette they're going to do for the holidays. So I bought one for her her birthday is November 12th so you know just in time so I told her do not buy because I already bought it for you I know it's not a surprise anymore <laughs> because I told her hey <laughs> this is what it looks like it's the new IC nude palette from Huda Beauty I love Natasha Denona too I was debating if I wanted to get the Natasha Denona I need a warm palette but I decided to get this one because it's the last palette I just feel like it has a little bit of that What's the word for it? Nostalgia? There we go, nostalgia. Also, I just feel like if me and my best friend get the same um, palette, it's just cuter that way. So, ta-da! This is what it looks like. And I'm actually gonna put some on my eyelids. I'm very, very excited for the shimmers and the glitters in this one. The mattes to me are very, very neutral. It's kind of like a cool tone color, but she says she added a warm tone color just, you know, for the versatility. And I love that. I love the versatility of all of the Huda Beauty palettes. I do think that one of the difference between Huda Beauty palette and Natasha Denona is that Natasha Denona are just like one tone, whereas the Huda Beauty palette is way more versatile. But I do like the Natasha Denona, like, the quality is slightly better, but there were a couple of shades in the past that was a little disappointment. So I'm super excited for this. The iced out, this shimmer, I'm just gonna put it on the top. Of, wow, just to try it out. Oh, I like it. It's like a dual cream, dual chrome, maybe tri chrome. Love it. It looks white in the palette, but when you took it out, it's this neon color. Oh, this one is so pretty and I'm also going to try a little bit of the VVS or Diamond Dew. Which one should we try? This one or the other one? We're going to do the VVS. It's kind of like a glitter shimmer thing. It's more glitter than shimmer. It's definitely glitter. Oh, my makeup is a little bit more gone just because I went to lunch with my friends. Actually like champagne rose gold. So I'm just very excited because of the shimmers and the glitters in this one. But I think the uh, the mattes are also very good as like a base uh, before I apply those shimmers. Look at this bling color. It's so pretty. This one is all glitter. I think this is a palette that's very worth it. And I went to the first Sephora. It was already sold out. So I had to go to the second Sephora, which is like a bigger store in my town. So love, love this. Highly recommend. I do think the quality is good. I did not try the matte yet. Maybe I should try a little bit. So let's try the first class. Very pigmented. And these two are pretty blendable. Can use the she rich <laughs> she rich color i think i have this color for one of the previous queen of beauty palette yeah i do really enjoy this palette highly recommend this is the first item if you have the budget i know the bigger palette is more expensive but it's not gonna go on sale on the huda website because some of their older palettes do go on sale during the black fridays but the new ones are not that's why i'm using sephora my sephora discount the second one i asked i think in my shop with me video i actually told you told you that this one i was looking for this one i couldn't find it so at the checkout store I actually checkout store at the checkout counter i actually asked them this is the sephora favorites lash to go this one it's worth it. Why? Because it has one of my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara is the Benefit Fenfest Mascara. I have heard different mascara, like people like the Ilia Limit Lash. I actually have this one right here. Here is the Ilia. I know it has a little foundation on top. I apologize. So my Ilia is not bad. Like when I use the Ilia, it makes, it looks very natural. Everything is very lengthened. But the problem is with Ilia, because I I have the Asian super straight hair. Ilia does not hold the curls for me. Um, it's kind of wet formula. It looks very natural, very lengthening. It looks great if you have good lashes um, as a base, but I don't. And also it's very easy to remove, but the problem is I smudge if I teach hot yoga. 
But when I use the Benefit Fan Fast, I do, it does not smudge. If I sweat, I have to use the Fan Fast. The Ilia doesn't work. But if I just like not gonna do anything, the Ilia actually works. So this one has also the milk. I hated the milk. But I heard that the Tartlet tubing mascara is good. And also my friend really likes the Grande mascara. So that's why I I also wanted to try it. This is a good, good deal because this is $28 and the Fun Fest is $29. So if you buy this one and you use the coupon to exchange this one, you'll already get $1 off. And at the same time, you're getting all of these minis and those minis last me for a long time. Like those last me for about two, three months. Like if I love all of the minis, those will last me a long time. But because I don't use mascara every single day, this Fun Fest mini, I think lasts me about two months. I haven't tried a Grande mascara. I need to try it. My friend really likes it. I heard good things about the Tarte tubing mascara, so I'm gonna try it. I heard good things about the Lancome. I tried it before, I did not like it last time, so I'm gonna try it again. The Milk Mascara, this one is a failure for me. I've tried it in the previous Sephora favorite mascara set. I did not like the Milk Rice Mascara. So all of these, there's only one that is not good. The other ones is all of my friend's favorite. So, and I got this one, the Fun Fest. I'm not gonna open it, because once you open it, it'll have to finish it within six months, because mascara expire really quickly, because the bacteria build up and stuff. So I love this, this is a great deal. Definitely a must buy. Who what's this? Okay, I actually exchanged this one uh, with my points. This is the Summer Friday's Cloud Dewy or Cloud Dew Gel Cream. I wanted to try their products before I actually buy. I love their lip products, but I haven't tried their face products. So the packaging was interesting. And since I have a really good impression of the Summer Friday, so it's kind of like a small sample, a hundred points. Let's just not waste too much. Doesn't smell like anything. Very watery gel cream. Very hydrating. Ooh, it softened my skin a lot. I have to try it on my face and report to you guys. First impression, really, really good. I really like this brand. I haven't tried much except for the lip products, but I'm excited. So I bought a new item. This is the one size point made waterproof liquid eyeliner pen. This is $19. So previously I always used the KVD um, eyeliner. I think it's make sure my, my, my eyeliner doesn't smudge. I need to make sure that I use the KVD one, um, this one. But the KVD Beauty is no longer in store in Sephora. You can only get it online which makes me really sad. I just feel like it's the rise and falls of KVD Beauty. It used to be so popular. They had the whole counter, the Kat Von D, and then become KVD, and then now no one talk about it anymore. So I got the one size waterproof eyeliner, and I tried this in store, uh, Sephora. Um, staff actually recommended this for me. Oh, it's so good. So after I draw these two lines, I use the bathroom, I washed my hands, I scrubbed my hands, and it's still here. It is truly, truly waterproof. <laughs> so I'm not, you have to use like a makeup remover to actually remove it. So I'm sold. <laughs> One size, and if you have tried it, please comment down below. I think it's worth it to have a good mascara, um, a good eyeliner and mascara because I don't want them to smudge if I go out on a trip or you know teach or work out. Um, the KVD used to be my holy grail, but not anymore. No, it's one size. On, I bought. Oh my gosh, we have to try this because in the store I was so confused um, because there's so many tubes I just feel like the sample that I tried wasn't light because there was no color it doesn't say the color on top what does it say it doesn't say I looked everywhere I was just standing there on the counter I do not see the color but I feel like when I tried it it's the fair light not the light light so I bought a small size this small size will last for a long time let me tell you like this one Ta-da, this is the medium color. It is a little bit dark for the winter. I also have a fair light from before, um, but my fair light is too light for, you know, cause I got a tan during my vacation. So medium is too dark, fair light is too light. So I decided to try the light version. So let's try this. 
I decided not to get a full size because this will last me about many many months and then I can actually decide what I want to get once the season changes again so I know some of my friends their skin tone doesn't change much but I am Chinese I am naturally light I'm not fair but I'm like light but when it comes to summer I tan super easily so in summer I become more medium toned but then in winter I just magically become light again so that's why I cannot use the same foundation in different seasons which I think to a lot of people is crazy to a lot of people is very normal depending on if you tan easily so I think this is a good match Yes, this is a good match. So this is gonna be the perfect match for my skin right now. The medium was kind of getting a little bit too dark because I used a medium when I was on vacation. It actually works perfectly. So yeah, it's crazy is because on the in the store, I don't see the actual color on the tubes. Like you don't see the color. It, the, they change the packaging. This is so weird. So I think the in the store, the samples and the tubes, they got mixed and matched. So I was trying the light, but I think that was fair because it was too bright. So, but I got the light. And this is mineral sunscreen with titanium dioxide 9% and zinc oxide 6.5. 3%. So it's a good double barrier to wear on top of your sunscreen. Oh, I am super excited. I bought this one and this one. I bought two of those. I'm super, super excited um, because I was eyeballing these so much. This is the Summer Fridays, the Holiday Lip Butter Bomb Set. So it comes with three. It's $49 for three, so $50 for three. The original price, these are full size. The original price is 24 each. So 24 times three would have been like $72. And now it's $50. This is a good deal. You're saving $20. And then if you have any types of discount, it's great. And it's three great colors. And then the red, people will be like, the red is too red, but actually it's a lip balm. So it's not that red. So it comes in three. I actually give my friend the mint one. I give it to him. I ask to look at the color. In, initially I was like, the mint is going to be green. Why is it going to be green? It's not going to make my lip look good. It's going to make my lip look sick. No, the green one is actually clear. Very clear. It has a minty taste, but it's very, very clear. Like you, there's no green tint. If anything, you maybe have a little bit shimmer that reminds me of the green. green. So we have the berry color. And this is the color that was sold out this summer. I'm so excited. So we have pink sugar, cherry, and sweet mint. I give my friends mint, so I'm not unboxing right here, but um, I ask him to try in front of me um, when I give it to him so I know the color because I want to report to you guys. I actually wanted to try the berry one. I feel like my makeup is not so great today <laughs> uh, after all day of wear and tear, but I'm super excited. I'm going to try this berry one for the winter. I, I feel like I need to use this one first just because the this pink one will be great for summer, but let's try it. This is the berry one. It does not look too red. It just makes my lip look like a little bit of that, that berry color. I don't know how to say. It just immediately mm. make me look like oh, I'm alive again. Yeah, I just wanted to try this color with you guys together because the berry color scares a lot of people. But let me tell you, don't get scared. It's like a very, very light tint. This is very good. Like when you go out, super pretty. And they also have this light pink one. I think this will be a really, really good for the summer month. So I'm going to save this one for the summer and use the berry in winter. It's super hydrating. The reason why I like Summer Fridays is not because um, the color. Of course, I like the color, but it's very hydrating. It's a truly a lip balm that's a little bit tint to it. And I've been using Laneige, like once the Laneige was very popular, I bought the Laneige first and I liked it. But once I use this, I cannot go back to Laneige because this one is so hydrating. I naturally have a really dry lips and this one, oh, so good. And the hydration lasts me for a long time. Like if I use this for the next like four hours, it would stay hydrated. Maybe after five hours, I want to reapply just so I can feel it because I talk a lot. Um, but I love those. 
So in addition to this, I also got this set. These are the minis. This is $24 for four. We have vanilla, vanilla beige, iced coffee, and brown sugar. So initially, I was just gonna buy a single one, the vanilla um, for my friend, but I couldn't see the, the full size. Um, in store because it was always sold out. Maybe now you can find it, but you have all of these colors. The brown sugar vanilla beige. Vanilla beige is the one that was sold out every time. Those colors are really, really good for fall season. And the vanilla flavor, I usually save it for at night. Like I, before I go to bed, I usually put on the vanilla because there's no color or anything. Um, but the other ones, I just put them in my purse and then mm, it just makes my lip feel so good once it gets colder and drier in season. So so, Summer Fridays is a must buy. These are a must buy. Really, really good deal. Like, I haven't had any lip balm that tastes good. I haven't had any lip balm that feels as hydrated as this one and also has a very nice color. I like the berry. So, I bought the Pharmacy You're the Balm Cleansing Set. This one is cheaper than the previous year, not because it's cheaper, because it's smaller. But I was like, hey, it's not a bad thing. Um, I'm gonna use it if I use it up. I can always repurchase during the spring sale because, you know, I always, I only buy things when they're on sale and I buy a lot for the rest of the year. So, so these are way smaller than the past. <sighs> 20 mil. This is probably only good for like two weeks versus previously the bigger ones in the three set are good for a month. But this is good when I travel. It's not going to be too bulky in my back. We are traveling in January. We're going on another cruise. So it's like, hey, that's not bad. So I bought the kit again. Like it's always cheaper, a better value with these holiday sets. So I got this one. Um, it has four flavors, but the flavors or scent doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm eating them. I don't mind having scent. I also don't mind not having scent. So to me, it doesn't actually matter. We got, this is the SPF set from Supergoop. I wanted to switch fully to metal sunscreen not permanently but just for the next year but so i bought these i want to be better in putting on sunscreen because if i don't my skin break out super bad and i get wrinkles sun damage is so bad for you so make sure you put sunscreen on every single day no matter if you're going out like if you're driving the the, the uv light actually goes through the the glass. So we have mineral unsea sunscreen, the play mineral sunscreen with the green algae and the mineral matte screen. I have tried the mineral matte screen. It has a tint, I believe. So I think it's the I think it's the smaller size. These two are 15 mil, so maybe those are the smaller size. This one is 30 mil, one fluid ounce. So if you're flying, this is too big. <laughs> These are so good if you're flying. We're not flying for our vacation, but these are good for flying. The unseen sunscreen. Let's try the unseen sunscreen. It's a mineral unseen sunscreen. Let's try to see if it's actually unseen. Because mineral sunscreen usually have a cast. Oh, it's so good. There's no cast at all. Oh my god. It is slightly to the oily side, a little bit on the oily side, it's water and sweat resistant 40 minutes. Okay, so if it's sweat and water resistant, usually has a little oil film to it so that your sunscreen doesn't really get into the sweat or water. So if it's sweat and water resistant, usually has a little bit oily feeling. feeling. So this is the matte sunscreen. I've used this before. It has a slight tint. It has a soft focus. This one actually sometimes fight with my moisturizer, sometimes fight with my foundation, but I do really like what it looks like because it doesn't make your face very oily as a slight tint. I'm going to open it for you guys. Also, mineral sunscreen doesn't expire as fast as chemical sunscreen just because it's a little bit more stable. So this one, the matte sunscreen, this is actually the third time I bought it. Um, it is kind of like a silicone primer and it has a little tint to it. So this is the matte sunscreen and this is the play. This is water resistant 80 minutes SPF 30. So people are like, oh, do you get SPF 30 versus 50? Actually, usually SPF between 30 to 50 is enough unless you're like going out to a water park or something. Um, but it's actually not that much of a difference of how much filtered the, the lights are filtered. But let's try this play one. 
Okay, this is water with 80 minutes, so it's probably okay. This one has a little bit of the white cast. And it feels a little bit more oily because of the water resistant. If you don't want an oily sensation, don't get the ones with water resistance. Again, like it, the reason why is if you think about if you think about chemistry, how does it <laughs> become water resistant? Is because it because oil is not water soluble. So you want to make sure your sunscreen is not water soluble. So that's why you have to remove it with some sort of oil based remover. So you can see it has a shine to it because it's of the oil. I repurchased one of the sunscreen that I used to buy this one. This one is not water resistant, but this is the sunscreen that I wear every single day when I drive my baby uh, somewhere. If I go for a walk in the morning and the, um, no, I'm not going to go jump into the pool or sweat excessively. This is the Pharmacy Green Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So it's a daily mineral sunscreen SPF 30. You'll be like SPF 30 is enough usually for day to day use. It is enough. I like the fact that there is no water resistant to it just because it is so blendable and there's no white cast and it doesn't make my face oily at all. If you open this, okay, it has a huge tube. This tube actually lasts me for many, many, many months and this one goes really well under your makeup. The only thing is it's not water resistant so if you do go to a water park, it's fall season, who goes to a water park, right? Um, well, if you go to the Bahamas, I mean, it's not gonna be great, but for day to day, it's great because this is, right? And then you just, oh, it's very hydrating. And if you blend it in fully, like you just have to spend a little bit of time blending it in, there is no, no white cast, there's no oil film, it just feels, better. It's silicon free. It protects from both UVA and UVB. There's no white cast. There are no residual no residuals um there's no oil there's no shine the only issue is because it's it, there's no shine there's no oil um it's not water resistant but this is really good for day-to-day -day use so i bought a bunch of sunscreen because i need to rescue my skin so much <laughs> these days all right moving on to more items in this this is so cute this is the laura Mercier. this is their divinely flawless translucent loose setting powder and puff um this is translucent color i think this is the talk free or whatever so i actually looked into it why do you need the talk free or talk free talk free what is the chemical called so it's because most of the most of the products don't have to talk that much the chemicals that much but since then people like brands have been abusing how much that particular chemical in their products and then they were trying to regulate it so now it's talk free but this one i think is a talk free one but the packaging so pretty i cannot open this <laughs> so we're back with my knife this is the best setting powder or for setting for baking I've tried the Huda, Do Huda Beauty powder and everyone is like raving about Huda Beauty powder but to me that powder is too heavy for my skin um it just makes my makeup very makeup-y it just looks too thick um if you want your makeup to be more natural like a more airbrushed type of thing get the Laura Mercier one this powder is the best it gives you a puff so it says the value is $65 and it's sold at $47. It's not. So the powder itself is at $47. And then when you bought the set, it just come with a free, free puff. Not a, the best deal, but I'm going to buy the powder anyways. So might as well, might as well get the puff, right? So oh, this is what it looks like. They have a new packaging. In the past, the Laura Messier was like the black one. So this is what it looks like. And the powder is just so good. I'm going to actually brush my skin a little bit right now. I actually, this particular jar, last time I bought it was 2021, I believe. This powder lasted me three years. I bought it 2021 fall and it's been three years and now it's completely emptied. 
So that's why I had to buy another one. So don't think, oh, it's $47. How can you afford it? Okay, this lasts me three three years. In between, I actually tried out other powders because I got the Huda Beauty, the small Huda Beauty powders. I used a little bit. So I think if I use it exclusively, it would have lasted me one to two years, um, depending on how much makeup you wear. Oh, all right, so we're going to get a little bit of brush. Not this one. This is my powder brush from It Cosmetics. It's like a synthetic fake fall fur brush. I'm just gonna powder a little bit. It has this air brush. See, the oil was just gone. I love this powder. So this is so good if you want like a soft matte. If you want to use powder but you don't want the matte um, super matte that this is a soft matte finish and it just smooths out my skin so much and it also is really good for baking but if you're baked if you use this powder to bake it's not gonna last as long as I told you to just because if you're baking you use a lot of powder I don't bake I never bake I tried a little bit I just felt like it's a waste of products so I just use this little powder brush and then try to dust off some of the things on my face and it's just so good so good this is the best powder yeah it's gonna last me about two more years I think three years is kind of like a stretch because um, among the three years I used some other products and I also don't use makeup every day but if you do use a lot what at least it will last one year just don't use it for bake okay I feel like baking is unnecessary for me this one this is the pharmacy honey glow up kit this one has two products the pharmacy honey halo moisturizer this is the ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer and it also comes with a lip smoothie honey vanilla i'm super excited because i've never tried the lip thing and i really really enjoyed the moisturizer in the past i used to feel bad spending that much money on the moisturizer but last year during the sale i actually this year, actually last year during this out, I picked up a little sample, a hundred point sample, and it was so good. And then I went back, pick up another sample, a hundred points, and it was so good. And when I use this, it just makes my skin very, very dewy. I was like, this honey thing actually works. It's not because of the honey, I believe, it's because it's full of ceramide. I also tried to buy the dupe from Trader Joe's, doesn't work the same. Like this one, the product just increased some sort of like elasticity like it just makes my skin feel like the egg white the hard boiled egg white oh, it has it makes my skin feel more bouncy and since i'm getting older and older you know so this is what it looks like the moisturizer i just finished my moisturizer from fresh did not like it did not like the fresh blue the lotus moisturizer did not like it I bit my tongue just to use it up. I didn't like it, but I still use it up because it's expensive. But the Honey Halo is the way to go, especially for winter. It's pretty rich, so winter, this is the best. I kind of want to try this lip thing. This will be a good lip sleeping mask. Ugh. So this is what the lip thing feels like. I'm going to use a little bit. I just put the lip balm, so. Tastes like honey. <laughs> the lip balm thing kind of reminds me of the Trader Joe's. I can't lie. This one tastes just like the Trader Joe's vanilla lip balm. It feels like the texture is the same too. I feel like this one has been successfully duped by Trader Joe's. The pharmacy honey lip balm. But, but Trader Joe's failed to dupe this one. This one is the best. I can't wait to use it tonight. Well, I think I can use one more scoop for the other one. This, this is what it looks like. And it adds so much moisture. It adds so much like bounciness to my skin. It didn't irritate at all. When it comes to winter when I have allergies, during the allergy season, this one, it smoothed out my skin so much and kind of calmed down my skin a lot. So love those. All right, so continue. I repurchased the Inky List Niacinamide Serum. I always buy this during the sale. It's one of the most affordable skincare brands and it's really good. It's kind of like The Ordinary, but 
they participate the sale. The packaging is not as fancy as the ordinary because the ordinary use glass packaging. These are plastic, but it's very similar. I do really enjoy it. And I also get this Inky List Excessive Oil Solution 20% Serum Niacinamide. So this is the normal niacinamide. It was cheaper as like $10, but the 20% niacinamide is like $18 more expensive but it's supposed to be helpful if you have oily skin. I normally don't have oily skin, but recently I've been having oily skin, so very important to use that. This Inky List 15% Vitamin C and EGF Serum. This one is really good, and I actually introduced this to my best friend, and she said it also brightens her skin so much, so I do really enjoy it. I think everyone should use a Vitamin C Serum, so love this one, brightens my, brightens my skin, I get to actually stock up another one. These only lasts me about one month so if I buy one this month about December they'll be gone so I may actually stock up another one but I do want to say that the ordinary official website usually get 23% off after Black Friday because they don't believe in Black Friday but in December they do have a 12 in their official website so I try not to suck too much just in case I buy it there and I also used 100 points for this Skin Fix Triple Lipid Eye Treatment. So eye creams are expensive, but you don't use a lot. So I felt like 100 points is pretty good deal. Just to try it out. Let's see if we like. I do like Skin Fix. Um, I bought a set last year, but they don't have the same set anymore this year, so I didn't buy it. So the set was the actual Skin Fix Peptide Moisturizer and a refill. Yay! That is for today's Sephora haul. I bought so much. A lot of these are actually repurchased items and some newly purchased items I'm super excited to try. I can't wait to try it out and report to you guys. If you love content like this, make sure you subscribe. I do a lot of Costco shop with me and hauls, but I am I'm actually a beauty fan. I love shopping at Sephora, but I mainly shop it twice a year during the holiday sales. And yeah, that's it for today. Thumbs up and subscribe. And also comment down below what product that you recommend for me to try. I stock up everything during the sale and use it for the next six months until the next spring sale, which is usually in April. So if you have any winter favorites, comment down below. And subscribe and ring the notification bell and check out my Sephora Shop With Me video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Happy shopping!